Springwood was really a game changer uh, in the Java ecosystem. Yeah, I remember when yeah, I was working with Spring Framework at the university and uh, one day the professor introduced Springwood and wow, it was mind blowing. Frameworks have existed for a long time in a lot of languages, but they weren't always very flexible. If you're coming from the Java E world, for instance, and you have done things a certain way and it requires several steps to get there, and you come into Spring and you're like, what, I don't have to do anything? I just I just extend this interface and it's all like magic? You hear that term a lot, you know, it's, it's magic, yeah. too much magic. Yeah. Uh, it's not magic, folks. It's technology. You know, this is a very, very rigorous technology. Uh, you know, it's it works. It's very easily inspected to see what's happening. It's easily overridden. Uh, but it is a little disconcerting uh, when you first come into it. The Spring ecosystem has support for a, re a reactive stack. So we have parity between uh, imperative and reactive. And it's great. What is your, I don't want to say preference. That states a little hard. But, but do you lean more toward the I'm in the imperative camp? Or do you lean more toward the, you know, reactive seems natural, I, I tend to go with that first. Once you get over the first step that it might seem too different working with reactive programming, but then it actually, you, yeah, you overcome the first step and then at some point you just something click and you realize, oh, but this feels much more natural to express the problem that I want to solve. It's, it's so weird because I my experience matches yours to a T. So initially it's quite a different paradigm, but then once you kind of get your head around it, you don't even have to be an expert at it. You just, once you kind of understand the concepts and how they fit together, um, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You get enough pieces together and you start to recognize the picture and you think, this this is actually kind of elegant. This this kind of works nice more nicely than the other does. Uh, and. Yeah, I'm the same way. I kind of approach things reactive first. You know, I always joke that I'm the least secure person there is. And that's not because I don't know anything about security, it's because I don't trust myself. And I think that's a good position to be in because you should never trust yourself too much. When I moved to, from Spring Framework to Spring, but one of the uh, yeah things that I really liked the most was uh, how easy it was to build a production ready application. You know, in technology, we have a hype cycle, right? And I, I think um, some of our, our uh, fellow technologists in other in other groups and other projects and other organizations really have hyped the whole native code thing. JVM based uh, Java applications in some ways can outperform native code. Coming into Spring Boot three, Spring Framework six, I mean, you're looking at that becoming an increasingly important part of the story. But but I mean, between you and me, do you see every workload going native? Probably not. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.